North Carolina has a long and proud farming heritage. Many of you have been farming here successfully for generations. A new crop opportunity is being introduced to this region that is well suited for your climate, will actually enhance your current crop rotation program, is frost and drought tolerant, and helps control tough weeds. That crop is high uricic acid rapeseed. Purdue Agribusiness has joined forces with Winston-Salem-based Technology Crops International, which has been working with North Carolina farmers for over 10 years, to develop a highly profitable, low-risk rapeseed program that is already proven successful on several farms. What is rapeseed? Well, canola, which many of you are probably more familiar with, is actually a rapeseed. This rapeseed, higher rusic acid rapeseed though, taps us into different marketing channels. We're using this industrially, it's used as a lubricant, it's used in the making of things like bottle caps, grocery store bags. While there's no question that there are ready-made markets for rapeseed, one concern we heard from farm owners is their ability to easily adapt their existing planters to make them compatible with the small seed size. Rapeseed is a, is a small seeded crop and certainly people would have a concern there and, and we were no different from other farmers. There were some slight adjustments we had to make. Uh, we used a John Deere air seeder and we did have to buy some, uh, a few parts to lower the seeding rate to those low rates, but that did not turn out to be a problem. We uh, looked at our factory uh, recommendations on our planter and we just went by those recommendations and were able to uh, really do a good job planting with a grain drill. One of our uh, concerns with planting this crop was the size of the seed and how small it was. What we did, we had to pull a seed tube off and put a plastic baggie on it and pull it about 50 foot and collect the number of seeds and we'd actually count our seeds. And once we counted them to establish how many we would have per acre, we just rounded off and what we actually did is put enough seed in there to plant 10 acres. And we went out there and planted that 10 acres. Before we got to the 10 acres, we realized we were gonna be a little bit short, so we knew we were planting too much and went back and went through the process again and, and readjusted everything and cut back. And we were able to, to get it down. I think we averaged about 2.9 pounds an acre, so it, it ended up working out pretty close. We opted to go with uh, the John Deere 1720 Max Merge planters. Started out, ended up on put a pound and ended up back up to five pounds, but we finally, after playing with it, playing with it, we ended up getting pretty close right on the money to three pounds. So ended up working good. We did pretty good. We seeded three pounds to the acre of seed and we followed through to harvest. If you run your combine right underneath the seed pods, it looks like a lot going through the machine but we've harvested already and it really was easy to harvest. We are using a MacDon draper head, but we're very well satisfied with the way it's harvesting uh, rapeseed also. The rapeseed flows into the head very, very smoothly. It seems like a great fit for our rotational scheme. Canola and rapeseed are natural behind corn crop. They are less in conflict with the soybean harvest than wheat because it needs to be planted earlier than wheat. Likewise, in the spring, we're able to get it off just a hair earlier, usually five to seven days earlier, we're able to get this crop off before wheat, which enables us to get our double crop of soybeans in just a little bit earlier. The rape was not as vulnerable to the, the frost because it can frost and it might kill a few of the, the blooms, but it continues to put on more. It can handle frost pretty good. You can see some damage to it, but it always come back. It'll come back where wheat won't come back and make, make the yield. I think it's a great opportunity for weed resistant management because as you can see, no weeds can, can survive under this dense crop canopy. You plant it and you almost forget it. Generally our wheat, we have to come back with a herbicide application in the spring. But the, the rape just seems to just predominate anything that's in the field. In the past also, we had weed pressure here from pigweed after planting soybeans. So we looked at this crop also, the rapeseed crop. And this year we didn't even spray a herbicide on it. We have no weed pressure at all. That's unbelievable. This species is known for its ability to penetrate hard pans. It has a very tough root that is able to get below some compacted layers and can help loosen up a field that's been used for many years as a cover crop in that vein. Stephen Flesher with Purdue 
contacting me about this crop. I have a lot of trust in Purdue, their people. We always get paid like we should. They have a really good group of guys. And we felt like that if they were partnering with technology crops, they must be good guys too. That's why we decided to grow it. One of the things also that we looked at is the, the delivery points and, and being partnered with Purdue and the delivery points was a selling point to the customers and that they could deliver to the elevators that uh, were owned by Purdue. That we built the trust over the years so they would feel comfortable with delivering there. Purdue had a sterling reputation, so I really didn't see a whole lot of risk uh, in growing the seed for them. Purdue is a company that we've been dealing with on the grain side, on the corn, soybeans, and wheat side for a number of years in this area, and they're, they've been a very good partner. We really enjoyed working with technology crops come harvest time. They will buy all of your grape seed. You don't have to worry about if you have a real good crop, whether 500 pounds to the acre, you may get a lower price. It's the same price for all pounds harvested. The price on the stuff, when they paid almost double what wheat price was, that was sort of convincing. The other thing that I liked that uh, they offered in their contract was the uh, Act of God clause. A loss of production or anything, it wouldn't tie you into to delivering a crop that obviously that you wouldn't have or nobody around you would have. It's like any other thing, you want to go with trusting people. And Jeff Riddle talked to us and he was real convincing and so far he's been truthful as his word. Purdue Farms backed it up, they were there with him and so far they've been real honest. They've been right on top of what they said they'd do. It's a nice fit between the two companies. Uh, Purdue provides convenient delivery points. Uh, crush capabilities and we try and bring the expertise of specialty crops and support for our growers and then these new high value crops that can help further extend rotations and uh, provide additional income to our growers here in North Carolina. High Heuristic Acid Rapeseed, or HERE, offers a new, profitable fall growing option for farmers in North Carolina. HERE is grown under contract, made possible through a partnership with Purdue Agribusiness and Technology Crops International that guarantees you will receive a substantial premium as compared to winter wheat. All contracts are fixed price contracts. Your entire rapeseed crop will be purchased Free Act of God coverage minimizes your risk from natural disasters, convenient delivery points, and guaranteed secured markets with end users for all production. In this particular instance, we saw the, uh, the benefit of Purdue being involved with TCI, and Purdue was a company that we had a very good comfort level because of the number of years that they've operated in this area, and so that gave, gave us an added uh, good feeling about uh, getting involved with this uh, early on. TCI has been exceptionally great in working with the growers. They've came out for probably five different visits at different stages of the crop. That really helped me out a lot as a first time grower. It just gave me all the confidence in the world. They were as good a, a market and a good a partner as, as I could ask for. These are good company to work with. They're, they back up what they say. They don't leave you out hanging.